Hello and welcome to MyKneeReplacementRecovery.com. Today I'm going to explain the importance of icing my knee after knee replacement surgery. You've probably heard of the acronym RICE, rest, ice, compression, elevation. Elevation and icing were very important to me. When I woke up in the recovery room in the hospital, I had an ice machine attached to my knee from the get-go. I also had two compression sleeves on either leg that were helping with the circulation as well. When I was rolled into my hospital room, the machine went with me and the ice cuff stayed on my knee until I left the hospital. Both the doctor and the nurse were concerned that I had a method ready at home to ice my knee as I would be needing to do that several times a day. I told them that I had previously bought a cryo cuff icing machine. I used that for the first three weeks of my surgery. For me it was easy once my caregivers filled it with ice. I was able to keep it near my recliner during the day and I was able to use it by myself without help. The ice that they put in it early in the morning lasted throughout the day. When I went to my off-site therapist, I was given an elastogel ice pack that you see here. It comes in a small box. Once you open it up, it stays in a plastic bag in the freezer and you take it out each time you need it and return it to the freezer and it stays very cold. For me, once I was mobile, it was easier for me to use than the cryocuff ice machine. What you do is you elevate your knee on the wedge pillow. It has two Velcro straps that you can tighten as hard as you'd like. And you can adjust the compression level as far as it's around. You can be very tight or you can have it very loose. At the physical therapist's office, they always ask me if was too cold that I need a towel in between my skin and the elastigel, but I preferred to have the elastigel next to my skin. The colder for me, the better. I usually left it on for 10 uh, to 20 minutes. At the therapy's office, it was a 10 minute icing. At home, I tried to go 20 each time. During therapy, I used it three to six times a day. Anytime that I saw it swelling, I would put it on. After walks, especially when my walks got longer, I used it more and more. And always after any of my home physical therapy sessions or my off-site physical therapy sessions. You can learn more about this by looking at the link at the bottom of my website, myknee-replacementrecovery.com. Thanks for listening.